My name is Laudan Mohamed Zadeh. I'm one of the critical care specialists here at Dove Lewis and um, just wanted to share an interesting um, case that we had here um, about a uh, five-year-old Shih Tzu um, a female dog that came in with just a few days history of decreased appetite, um, vomiting, abdominal pain, had been seen at an emergency clinic um, and had some lab work and x-rays done and the most notable abnormality was that it appeared as though it had a retroperitoneal um, mass uh, along with some small bladder stones. Um, so here we ended up ultimately um, getting a CT scan of this abdomen um, where it showed a very um, enlarged hydronephrotic left kidney with a hydroureter um, as well as a large ureteral lift um, and a retroperitoneal sort of mass-like um, structure that did not contrast enhance that was coming off the left, uh, the caudal pole of the kidney. And this thing was measured to be over five centimeters in length, which for a Shih Tzu dog is quite large, um, did not contrast enhance. So the radiologist first thought is that it was probably going to be hematoma um, but it was just interesting trying to tie these things in together with a ureteral lift. Sure, that might cause hydronephrosis, but you know, how on earth could it cause bleeding and essentially what could be a rupture of this kidney, which was just really unusual, not something that we had ever really seen before. So we were thinking along the lines that maybe it could be um, neoplastic because that's you know, one of the only things that, that I've ever seen cause that much hemorrhage in the retroperitoneal space um, other than trauma, which of course there was no history of trauma, so we were able to kind of rule that out right away. Um, to make a long story short, at surgery, um, it did appear as though there was um, blood and urine leaked into the retroperitoneal space on the left side. Um, the left kidney was quite large and this hematoma was extending from the caudal pole of the left kidney um, did an nephrectomy on that side, also did a cystotomy to remove the bladder stones. Um, of course, submitted the kidney for biopsy, urine for culture, and uh, the um, biopsy came back as severe pyelonephritis with evidence of like parenchymal necrosis. Um, and certainly the necrosis part of it makes sense if there was such a severe pyelonephritis that it caused necrosis that it just made that tissue really friable and caused urine and blood uh, to leak into the retroperitoneal space. But um, it was, I think, a bit surprising for all of us. It's just an interesting, unusual, but in the end, I guess, positive outcome in that it was not neoplastic and it did grow a bacteria that was sensitive to every antibiotic it was tested against. Um, so, I mean, I'd like to think this is one and done in this dog, but I guess you never know what's gonna happen with the contralateral kidney. I did recommend routine screening, routine urine cultures, as well as imaging to look for any additional signs of infection or presence of stones, um, because stones can be a nidus for infection. So I'm assuming it's not a coincidence that the dog had ureteral lift and bladder stones. Um, I think that you know this infection was able to go unchecked for such a long time that it caused really severe damage um, anatomically to that kidney. So. Um, anyway, it's just a really interesting case and I, I hope you guys can take that with you for the next time uh, you see something similar.